St Kilda Gatehouse has been around for over 19 years. Um, we operate in Grieve Street and I guess the community space that we have in Grieve Street is the core of what we do. Um, it is a space where uh, women who are involved in street sex work feel that they belong. It's a place where they feel very safe um, and where they're valued and are seen as important. Um, and through coming to uh, Gatehouse um, to get clothes, food, hot, hot meals, um, or just a place to hang out. Um, they build trust and relationship with the, the staff there. Um, and then over time through that, building that trust and developing that, um, we connect them in with other services um, and help support the issues that are going on in their lives, whether it's housing, uh, drug addiction, um, access to their children, and then hopefully, um, you know, support them to move out of street sex work. Some of the highlights of the day-to-day -day activities here are sometimes um, when somebody has a birthday, actually just getting a birthday cake and, and uh, lighting up the candles and you know celebrating their birthday with them um, can be really rewarding. Um, other people coming in, you know, some of the girls at times when they have a baby and they bring the baby in and, and uh, yeah, they're really proud of their babies. Uh, yeah, even sometimes um, people you know, getting on methadone from, you know, a very large uh, heroin habit to actually saying, no, I really need help, I want to go on methadone and uh, they're moving forward and, and, you know, they're getting excited about, you know, the possibility of change can be rewarding. So even just the little steps that people take, um, yeah, can be really rewarding. The Navigate program has been running for about three years and it was developed because we saw a need to um, help the women navigate through what is a very difficult system. Women that we see often come in not having a great trust in services because they've been in it for so long um, and what the Navigate program does is walk beside them to access services such as home ground or uh, hospital visits. Um, a really good example of how the Navigate program has worked really well is with a couple, Belinda and Mark. Mark had been really well known by St Kilda Gatehouse and had only ever engaged in our safe space in the centre. And then um, about two years ago, he bought his partner, Belinda, in. And to begin with, all they were doing was coming in, getting food, um, and she would go back out of work. And then she fell pregnant. They were completely homeless, using heroin every day, very chaotic lifestyle. They'd lost custody of their older child. And we worked very, very hard with them over a period of nine months to a point where they are now insecure housing through the Department of Human Services. Protective services are no longer involved. They've actually closed the case because they are just parenting so well. And they're no longer using heroin. And the reason that that was successful is because the Navigate program walked alongside them every step. So I would go to all of their hospital appointments at the Women's Alcohol and Drug Service. Um, I went to all of their meetings with DHS. I spent hours on the phone helping them find secure accommodation and really walked every step with them and really provided that support. That Without that, I don't really believe that they would be where they are because they just were unable to manage all of that on their own. The community of St Kilda can help St Kilda Gatehouse support marginalised people. One by um, maybe doing some research on the, even on the on the web and trying firstly understand where people um, come from, their backgrounds, how they get to where they are on the street. Um, the other thing they can do is actually look at our website, and uh, often we update it with the needs that St Kilda Gatehouse have has because they they're changing all the time. So. Um, yeah, just going to the website, having a look at our needs and, and maybe contributing and helping there in that area.